Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these boxes. First of all, the things that I'm going to use, materials, is a mat, a paper for my pattern. I already traced it. I have some markers, which I used to trace the pattern. Scissors, a glue stick, and a glue gun. And <clears throat> The way I did my pattern was, I got my box, and you can just get any other box. I had this one, and basically I just used that for my first pattern, but I can use this one because the other one that I did was the smaller one, and this one is a bigger version. I just created it bigger. But what you do is, um, this side, you trace it, you place it on your paper, edge with edge and then with the marker you're just tracing the sides this side and this side and then you roll it you trace it again roll it again trace it again and then the last part is this end part which is round it so you're going to trace it from here go around 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 all the way to the other side and then that's how i make my pattern so this is what it looks like and i'm just going to cut it with the scissors that way it's a lot easier to trace on the mat so the next part that i'm going to do or that i did already i traced this end onto my paper and I made a, a, a box basically just a box so I got my marker I got my paper lined them up and just trace the line and there it is and since I need two sides I have this paper I'm just going to use it and fold it in half and that will be my pattern for the side. I have two the same size. I don't I didn't use a ruler, I just used the box, but if you prefer using a ruler, you can go ahead and do that as well. And then for my mat, it comes with this side, this lining. I get my scissors. And I just stick them in there <laughs> and just go ahead and just I, what I do is I just slide it and it cuts through the little <laughs> it cuts through the thread or basically you, you could just pull it apart but it might break so it's easier or safer to do with the scissors and just go all around And so you just take off the lining on it. And don't worry if it if that happens, you can just cut it and just keep going all around. But just to save a little bit of time, I already have one cut up. This is it. It turns on the box, then you can just trace it wherever you want to. So I'm gonna have those two patterns in the middle, towards the middle. So this is what it's going to look like. Oops. As you can see. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trace it and cut it. So I'm going to use my black marker again. I'm going to start with a curve. I use my hand. 
and basically just trace all around. And all the way around completely. And it's okay if it's not perfect because you're going to cut it and it will be okay. So then I get my mat and I just cut all around the pattern. And then it's a little bit hard to cut. So I just hold it really tight. There. And I'm just cutting all the way. If you have strong scissors or scissors that are easier to cut with, go ahead and use them. These are pretty good. Not that bad. <laughs> and it's really easy when you have the pattern because you just cut all around the pattern. And it makes it easy with the little round sides. And if it breaks apart a little bit, because it will sometimes, don't worry, it can be fixed. Just be careful when you cut it around on the curves. And then just go ahead and keep going straight all the way. And keep going all around. I'm going to use these lines to make my line straight. So just cut next to the line and just keep going straight all the way to the end there. So this is what it looks like <laughs> the other part. And this is the pattern. This is what we're going to use to to make the whole box. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my glue gun. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut my other two sides from this part. Here's one and here's the other one. There's two. They're the same size. So I'm just going to find a space where they could be cut the same space. Here's one. And so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this here. I found this place. Where it fits perfectly. That's one. If you want to cut the two parts right on the first cut, that's two. And then you have this long strip. You can just cut it in half. That way you make sure that both of them are the same size. And it's a lot more easier cutting them this way. So now you have two parts. These are the two. Okay, so I went and got the ruler. And I measured the ends. The two ends and it's about three and a half by three and a half so I have two of the same size and then I measured my other part the long part this one is 14 and a half that's the length by seven and a half and that's the width so those are the measurements of your pattern and then like I said you can do any size if you want or just do or just do the same size that I created and then um, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue and I start on the side this part right here and I'll just put the glue on it 
And just be very careful with the glue because you it's very hot. <laughs> and this I start with the side. Since they're the same size either way, it doesn't matter where you start. Just leave it there a little bit. And then go ahead and put a little bit more glue. It doesn't have to be completely at the edge. It could be a little bit away from the edge. Because when you fold it, there. And it's okay if you don't have enough glue because at the end we're going to go back and put a little bit more glue all around it. And then this one is going to be up to here. And just keep flipping it up. That makes it easy for you to glue. And there. And then I can just go in and put more glue to make it better. And then, oops, this one came off. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue and just put it back on. And just glue it. So then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And once you do one side, then the other side is a lot easier. <laughs> just keep putting glue if it doesn't stay together. You might want to use cardboard to glue it at the beginning because it's hard to stay together. That's when it's getting hard. My glue's not working. You might have better luck with your glue. So then on this side, I, like I said, it's a lot easier, and you can just put all the glue all around it, or just go one at a time, one side at a time. I think with the other box, I did the two sides from each box at the same time. So this is, I just put them together. There. And then the last part right here. And then bring it up. There. And voila. Hi, so today I'm gonna be <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my last. <laughs>